Douglas here again. Um, we've got a, a cold and rainy day in Bibra Lake today, so um, outdoor activities are restricted. I've, I've decided to stay in the warmth of the house and uh, um, I've got a little task today. I've got one of those robot vacuum cleaners that runs around the floor. It's not one of the um, super duper expensive ones. I, I think I only paid about $300 for it, but it's been a, a good servant and um, I'd like to get a little bit more life out of it. So um, let's try and pull it apart. Perhaps the first thing I do is take the dirt collector tray out of it. We'll release the, the brushes. The other, th other thing that I've, uh, well, I've got it apart, I may endeavour to do, they have um, a rubber bush that sits over the bearing. There's a little bearing there. They have a rubber bush that sits over the, the, the bearing and it um, locks down in, uh, if you can see in there, there's two grooves and um, a thin side and a thick side that locks down in there. Well, the rubber bush is gone altogether. Um, I'm thinking I might try and make a, um, a Teflon one on the lathe, but let's see if we can get the batteries sorted out first, and we'll come back to that. In fact, let's get this shaft out. Um, that is what that should look like. So I actually have a good um, good template for what I have to make on the lathe. So we shall endeavour to do something with that if we're successful with the batteries. All right, well, not knowing how to get into this, we're just gonna go for what appear to be the obvious screw holes I've got a spare set of brushes for it too so the front brushes can be um, replaced they're readily available online so let's see what's under, oh, there's another one over this side. I'm having trouble keeping you in shot. I'm wearing, as you can no doubt tell, the head camera again, and um, I'm monitoring it with um, my iPad sitting in front of me, so I'm, I'm seeing what you're seeing, so I'll do my best to keep you in shot, um, but I can't guarantee it. Right, so let's see if we can now get that out. Oh, this might be too easy. That looks like a battery pack. Well, wasn't that just super, super easy?
bit of corrosion on those terminals. There's some some corrosion on the terminals, so I'm wondering. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Um, I'm going to as best as I can scratch off the top of these terminals. Okay, just a little bit of um, good old WD-40, just on a cotton bud, and let's really give these a, a clean up. the dirt um, dirt coming off on the cotton bud all right let's swap to the other end of the cotton bud Just one little bit I just want to get off. Okay, um, let's see, just out of curiosity's sake, if we've got anything in this battery. Hmm, I think the battery May, may be absolute history. As was expected, the battery was US. A new battery's been ordered, so stay tuned for part two. <laughs>